Hi, I'm Kenny from Embroidery Library. Towels come in many different fabrics like terry cloth, microfiber, linen, and the lightest of the bunch, flower sack. Flower sack towels are light and thin, so choose airy and breezy designs when embroidering on them. Remember, light fabrics need light designs, and wash and dry the towel before embroidering on it to get any shrinkage out of the way. Usually I use cutaway stabilizer when embroidering because it gives the best support to the fabric. But flower sack towels, especially the white ones, can be somewhat transparent and you might see the ridge of the cutaway stabilizer showing through. Depending on the color of your towel and how thin the towel is, tearaway stabilizer may be a better choice. Use a good quality tearaway stabilizer, soft and pliable. Don't use a stiff stabilizer because the needle will tear that away in chunks and you will see shifting, gapping, and misaligned stitches. A template is a printout of a design and it's an excellent tool for placement. When I have the template positioned where I'll stitch the design, I mark the center point and the axis lines. Hoop the towel with the stabilizer, lining up the marks on the towel with the marks on the hoop. Embroider the design. I'm using a size 11 sharp sewing needle. That has a finer point than an embroidery needle, so it makes smaller perforations in the stabilizer. After embroidering, gently tear the excess stabilizer away. At Embroidery Library, look for designs labeled vintage or toile, as those are a perfect choice for light flower sack towels. Thank you for watching, and visit our website at www.emblibrary.com.